Okay, so let's play. It's playtime! <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome to Kids Toys Play. Today we're going to be doing a little bit different of a video. We recently showcased every one of our trains in our collection and we got a ton of messages and comments about our Brio engines. Um, for those of you who are unaware, Brio did indeed make a Thomas line between 1996 and 2000. These Brio Thomases were used mostly in the United Kingdom and uh, released some in Europe for a four year span. As you can tell by my accent, I'm not from the UK, I'm not from Europe, I'm from North America. So the fact that I got a bunch of Brio engines and I actually got them, most of them from different sources than, than each other, is actually a little bit rare and a little bit unique. So we'll start off with old Thomas here because it's Thomas the Tank Engine, why wouldn't we start out with him? If you can look right at the Brio sticker, it says uh, copyright Britt Alcroft, uh, Thomas Limited, 1996. So every one of these pieces, it doesn't matter, they all say Brio on them somewhere and they all are stamped 1996. Uh, there's nothing really written on the insides of the wheels. It's kind of hard to focus when I'm this close, but there's nothing written on the insides of the wheels. So to say that these are all 1996 pieces, I think all the stickers said 1996 on them. At least all the stickers I've seen have said 1996 on them. So it's fair to say that any one of these were built between 96 and 2000. We're going to compare these, not only with uh, the, the current Fisher Price models, if I have them, or the most current model that I have, but I also got a few pieces that are a little bit closer to the age group as well. So let's take a look and let's see the comparisons between our Brio and our Learning Curve and Fisher-Price brand Thomas the Tank Engine toys. So here's our Brio Thomas and we're going to compare him to a 2002. I think I stated this was a 2001 Thomas at one point. You just look at the insides of the wheels up until 2003. It should tell you where it's from. This is a 2002 model. Uh, one of our fans, I think it was Minor Thomas, uh, I think he corrected me on that the other day. Fantastic. I'm just going to compare with them with a the size and and uh, as much as I can between the two models to see what was big in the UK and what was big in North America at the time. You can tell that the wheels on the learning curve Thomas were a little bit farther apart. Of course, all the Brio engines and rowing stock for that matter, they all had the metal on the insides of the wheels. All of them are stamped. They say Brio. I just wanted to point this out. So as compared with a learning curve Thomas, let's look at the Brio Thomas. He's the only engine I have, well him and Sir Handel actually, that have a small piece of metal. It's not a magnet, it's just a piece of metal right on the front and they have a rounded magnet on the back. It's actually a little bit more rounded than the learning curve magnet at the same time. This learning curve magnet is a little bit flatter, but uh, it's obviously not as pronounced as the recent or the current Fisher-Price Thomas, the tank engine as well. Looking at the face, you can see, you know, hey, Thomas is a happy guy, why wouldn't he be? I mean, he's got an entire series based around him. I love how the fact that it's red down here, he really just, it really just pops the blue, I think. I think the color just kind of pops up to you. Um, whenever I'm looking over on the shelf, I always notice Thomas. I always notice the Brio Thomas, uh, the red there, as opposed to just having it painted on the sides. They've used an entire wooden piece. This, it's kind of interesting. So here's the Fisher Price Thomas. I think this is a 2013 model or 2014 model. These two side pieces, it looks like the mold is almost the same with the Fisher Price model from 2013 to the one from 96, 2000 of Brio, which is a completely different manufacturer. As opposed to, to Learning Curve, I mean, there's, there's no cover in the smokestack. This is one piece, it's still plastic, but uh, it's a little bit different. I, I found that kind of remark. Of course, there's no, uh, there's no lines on his tender. There's no lines on any of his tenders at the time. There's no color on the back tender. Uh, the, it still looks pretty much the same. Okay, let's take a look at Brio James because he is far and away the most splendid engine. Everyone knows this. Taking a closer look, I know I just said that it says Brio inside all the wheels. It actually doesn't say Brio on the inside of any of James's wheels. We have the sticker at the bottom here. Um, obviously no name underneath the bottom. 1996 on the sticker, nothing written inside the wheels. 
but it doesn't say Brio snapped on them. I really like this configuration here. Look, he, he's got these two tiny wheels, and yes, the wheels do turn. So we, what we have here is an actually 260 configuration, or a, a 264, I guess, if you want to include the tender. He has uh, a yellow dome. I'm just going to bring in, this is a learning curve, James, from 1994. It says 1994 on the inside of the wheels. Once again, that's where you can find it. You can tell, look how flat those front magnets are. This is a uh, this is a more recent James. We'll get to him in a little bit, but you can see the differences right there. No, yeah, they're actually attracted. That's kind of interesting. The the front engines are actually attracted. The act sorry, the front magnets are actually attracted to each other. That's kind of interesting because these are both learning curve brand. I really like this James. Uh, he has a wood stack there. Obviously, this is wood right here. Everything is but the face, but the big yellow dome. I mean. It stands out on James. We all know he has the big yellow dome. This is obviously red or was painted red at one point in time. Looking at the comparison, so this is a 94 learning curve Thomas that would have been sold uh, mostly in North America. And here's the 96 to 2000 James that uh, was sold mostly in the UK. Once again, nothing on the front, no magnet, no piece of metal, nothing doing there. Flatter magnet back there. Looking at it, uh, he also doesn't have these sides on the dome, or the or this or the um, the bypasses or the steam lines that go on the side of a more recent James. Putting them together, wheel to wheel, the balance is a little bit off, but you should expect that with those two extra wheels on top. If we actually compare them nose to nose and go front to back, you can tell that the Brio James is a little bit longer. Face to face, as with all the earlier learning curve engines, the face on the learning curve engine is a little bit smaller by comparison to any engine, whether it's Brio, Learning Curve, Tomy, or Fisher Price. There's a little bit more detail on the side of the early learning curve James as well. So this James is stamped 2003. This is a learning curve James that predates the Tomy brand name. Let's take a look at 2003, you know, and later. We'll, we'll call it early learning curve, James. We'll take a look at learning curve, James, tender versus Brio tender. And it's really unique to look at them wheel to wheel. The, the later, the latter tender is a little bit longer. It's a little bit wider. I really look at the five on the Brio tender, and it's the five on both sides. This is a really great example of the Brio engine. I mean, these... All these Brios, I mean, they're in fine to very fine condition considering they've been unboxed for, you know, maybe 20 years. I love how the top of the tender is painted on as opposed to putting the plastic piece on the learning curve. But uh, once again, the wheel's shiny. They, these wheels actually, I don't know if we can focus, but they actually do have Brio stamped on the inside of the wheels. The magnets, once again, are flat and a little bit smaller of a tender, once again. A little bit smaller. It's unique to see that James, oh hey, you know that? I, I piled him up with the wrong James there. Uh, he's too splendid. I find it really unique that James, along with Edward, had the magnet tenders. The tenders are attached by magnets, and this is a much superior configuration as to what Brio did with the larger engines, namely Gordon and Henry. Thanks for watching Kissar's Play. And don't forget to, to subscribe.